10 Sacred Native American Places. Number 10, Crater Lake, Oregon. Crater Lake is formed from a collapsed caldera from a dormant volcano in the state of Oregon. An island in the middle of this lake has gotten the nickname of Wizard Island. The Klamath tribe of Native Americans, who inhabit areas of the Columbia River Plateau in Northern California and Southern Oregon, call the lake and the island sacred. Crater Lake seems to have the cleanest water in all the land nearby, with the most beautiful, pristine wilderness surrounding it. Some believe the water here is the most pure in the world. The ancestors of the Klamath tribe witnessed a great collapse of this mountain, which formed this ideal location. They talked about seeing a battle that took place in the sky between the sky god and the god of the underworld. The mountain collapsed during the battle, thus creating this lake. The Klamath people often come here and are given difficult tasks that will connect them with the spiritual world. Number 9. Mount Shasta Another sacred location for the Klamath tribe, this time comes across the border into California. Mount Shasta rises over 13,000 feet high in the sky and is the state's fifth tallest mountain. This impressive stratovolcano has erupted once every 800 years on average, and this might be an explanation behind their folklore. This place is almost like a Native American Mount Olympus, and they discuss who lived at the top of the mountain. One of the beings descended and became the chief of the tribe. Another god who lived up there would battle with the god of the underworld. Fights would take place where hot lava rocks were thrown at each other. Many are drawn by this mysterious mountain and even believe there's some type of lost civilization hidden away in the caves. Number 8. Mesa Verde, Colorado Located in southwestern Colorado is where you'll find the area known as Mesa Verde on a plateau and this land once inhabited by the mysterious Anasazi people. The Anasazis were masters of turning rugged terrain to their advantage and they built pueblos underneath cliffs for shelter. Discovered by searching for a missing cow, the cave dwellings at Mesa Verde have become a sacred site even if the Anasazi people aren't still around. These people were living advanced lifestyles that would have easily matched those in Europe around 1000 AD. Archaeologists are coming across archaic pictographs like we see here and other structures dedicated to the gods. The Mesa Verde Sun Temple we see here was certainly a sacred location. It would have most likely been used for spiritual rituals, but the entire structure wasn't finished. The Anasazi showed great skill in art and construction. The word Anasazi was given to name these people by the Navajo, and this meant the ancient ones. The Anasazi mysteriously disappeared and it's still unclear why so many of their construction projects were left halfway finished like this sun temple. Number 7. The Cahokia Mounds The Cahokian Mounds historic site is a large pre-Columbian Native American settlement near the Mississippi River by St. Louis, Missouri. This sacred land contains 80 earth mounds built by the ancient Mississippians. This one you see here is called the Monk's Mound and it's the largest structure at Cahokia it's believed that the home of the chief was built on top of this mound. The base of this mound has a larger area than any pyramid in Egypt. A barricade was built around the city center and the higher class citizens would live on the inside, separating the lower class. The larger mounds are still visible, but the city was much larger than what it appears to be nowadays. It's believed that during the 1200s it took up an area of 6 square miles. The sacred site is protected under UNESCO and it's the largest prehistoric settlement in North America that still exists. Number 6. Chaco Canyon Located in the Four Corners region in the southwestern United States, Chaco Canyon in New Mexico still houses the remains of settlements that date back over 1,000 years. Found near the Navajo Reservation, it's a historical and sacred site that must be preserved. The people that once lived here known as the Pueblos inhabited this land over 1,000 years ago. Thousands of artifacts like pottery were uncovered and have been preserved in museums. Things like ceramics, animal bones, and stone tools were uncovered, suggesting this was a fairly advanced civilization. The artifacts gave a huge amount of knowledge like what kind of instruments were played, the types of weapons they used, and the animals that were hunted. Pueblo Bonita is believed to be the largest settlement of the Pueblo people and was a religious epicenter where massive ceremonies took place. Number 5. The Devil's Tower The Devil's Tower soars 900 feet in the sky and is a national monument located in the state of Wyoming. This landmark is considered to be sacred to the Lakota tribe and other small tribes in this area. The Lakota, however, have the strongest spiritual connection with this place. They refer to it by several different names, including a ghost mountain, grizzly bear's lodge, and mythical owl mountain. It's here where they often conducted spiritual rituals such as fasting, praying, 
and shaman would perform healing ceremonies. One tale tells that a fierce warrior was undergoing a vision and suddenly appeared at the top of this mountain. He was frightened and felt that there was no possible way to come down without losing his life. Here in this photo, we see the chief of the Lakota Nation, who goes by the name of Chief Arval. Him and his people have requested that the name of the mountain be changed to Bear's Lodge. He claims that the name Devil's Tower is very misleading, and there's nothing evil about this place. Number 4. Mauna Kea Mauna Kea is the highest peak in the state of Hawaii, reaching nearly 14,000 feet, and the native Hawaiians find this place to be a sacred place. From the peak of this massive dormant volcano, amazing views of the cosmos can be seen due to the darkness of the ocean surrounding it. For this reason, it's also been sought after by astronomers who wanted to build a massive telescope to peer into the final frontier. Native Hawaiians protested the construction of the Mauna Kea telescope on this sacred volcano. They claim that it's from here where spirits of the supreme beings, divine entities live, and the meeting place for the god of the sky and mother earth. It's also believed to be a holy burial ground. Many people protested the construction of the telescope and in 2015, Native Americans held a large gathering to block entrance to it and were arrested by authorities. Number 3. The Grand Canyon This location is often on travelers' to-do lists while visiting the southwestern United States. Many tourists, however, might not know right away these remarkably beautiful canyons are sacred to Native American tribes in the surrounding areas. Tribes like the Navajo, Havasupe, Hopi, and Paiute tribes have all settled this area well before tours to the white man were available. Many tribes have deeply embedded history in the Grand Canyon, and there are several Indian reservations here. The water that flows through the canyon is considered to be sacred to them, and the Havasupe Indians get their name from this. Havasupe translates to people of green and blue waters. Other stone structures like the Wigliva we see here overlooks the Havasupe village and are believed to guard the tribe. If the towers fall, it will mean the end of their civilization, according to legend. Number 2. Navajo Mountain Located in southwest Utah in the Monument Valley, this is the highest peak of the Navajo Nation Reserve and considered to be the area the first Navajo ever settled. It plays a huge role in Navajo culture and is the setting for their mystical legends. Evidence of other people such as the Anasazi have also been discovered, and the Navajo have believed it's haunted by spirits of this tribe. The southwest of the United States can get quite dry at times, and they believe that this mountain plays a vital role in bringing rain and fresh water to their people. Number 1. The Black Hills Possibly one of the most disputed pieces of land within the United States are the Black Hills. Other areas in North and South Dakota are the original homeland for the Lakota Native Americans. According to them, the Black Hills are the heart of everything that is. As the American settlers continued westward with the concept of manifest destiny, it became a casualty in the vicious conquest of land. Thousands of buffalo that once roamed this area were purposely slaughtered to extinguish the food source to this tribe, like we see with this pyramid of buffalo skulls. The Black Mountains are still a location of political unrest and confrontations in modern times. Many Lakota believe that this is a unique place where they are able to make spiritual connections with their creators. It's also the location of the Bears Lodge we mentioned earlier. The Lakota take a large amount of pride in their heritage, and even recently there has been civil unrest when tribe members feared the government building an oil pipeline through burial grounds and sacred land near the Black Hills. 